Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Teller Films Presents Draft Prospects. And today we're going to do Jalen Waddle. He is the fourth um, receiver from Alabama that's probably going to be a first round pick in the last two years. If you look back last year at um, Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs, this year you have Devontae Smith who won the Heisman. And Jalen Waddle is who we're about to do now. Going into this season, Waddle was supposed to be the man, but Smith kind of took that role and ran with it, so to speak. But Waddle is still a great, great player. And so um, let's get into Jalen Waddle. <laughs> So, welcome back to the channel, and um, after a much-needed um, break-off, I feel refreshed, ready to get into this draft content, and bring you stuff uh, three to four times a week, and if I'm feeling froggy, five times a week. But uh, let's, without further ado, let's get into Jaden Waddle, and uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe. So, uh, subscribing helps a ton. We're, we sailed past 5K this season. Hoping to push towards 6K by the start of next season. And I appreciate everybody with the support. All my Patreon members, everybody that supports in the Cash App and the, um, what's the other thing we have? PayPal. I appreciate you guys. But um, Jalen Waddles on the screen. He's highlighted. Let's watch the play first. Then I'll come back and kind of give you my synopsis of what's going on. Tight slots right here. Run a little pop pass. Like a jet sweep, but since he since the quarterback pushed it forward, Mac Jones is a pass. This count this counts as a pass. And again, you'll see him right there lined up. Don't throw in the pop pass. Versatility. 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 You see these guys running with the, the back and it's good fake in there. And now you're about to get this guy out of space. Which is, you know, kind of what you want to do with a guy with his skill set. Just get him in space and give him the opportunity to make somebody miss and go. But with this play design, which is a great play design, he has this guy blocking one on one, the tight end coming to block, and now they just got to try to chase him down. You already know he fast. Versatility. Versatility. What? That's 16 yards. Let's go to play two. Let's locate Devontae. I think he's at, not Devontae, I'm sorry, Jalen. I think he's at the top up there. Oh no, not the top. Hitting that crosser. So let's see where he came from. Okay, right here. Here he is. Right there. Now let's watch him. See what's going on. Find the soft spot. Behind this row of linebackers, but away from the safety to kind of get an idea of getting an open spot. Sitting in the soft spot. Having good football IQ and not just, not full speed running over there to another receiver. Keeping good distance, keeping good spacing, and look to spacing. You got good spacing from both receivers. And you're deep enough behind this row of linebackers. If Matt can, can drop it over their head, you, you're in good position. That's having good football IQ and good understanding of the concept and spacing. That's the that's the the neck up part of football to go along with his his physical skill set. Not really not running extremely fast, just finding the open spot. Just finding the open spot, which he does. Then you know gets a little yak pretty much every time. Let's go on to play three. Let's see if I can locate him. I think he's at the top, I think. No, no, he's in the backfield. He's in the backfield. Again, versatility. Versatility. He's right here. This is him right here. He's in the backfield. Then they're going to motion uh, Najee on the other side. So I think now Najee going to lead block for him, I think. Yeah. This is running outside zone to the right, and this is your receiver right here, playing the role of running back. Versatility. And I see how well he plays this role of running back. Trying to get to the outside. 
Still good. One foot in the ground. Hit it. Hit it just like a running back. Saw the opening. Saw the opening right off of this butt right here. And he's going to get washed down. He's going to hit it right off them two butts right there. Boom. Right there. And explode through there. Exploded through there. One cut and go for a receiver. All right. Now, remember we saw this um, formation, I think the first play, with Jalen right here in this tight slot. And when he ran the first play, they um, faked outside zone this way maybe and pop past it to Jalen going going that way so just keep that that was the first play this is the this is the the water effect he won't get the ball on this play but just watch what happens because of what happened earlier in the game all right same pre-snap deal you know motion that way this motion that way nah Look at these, just look at the linebackers. You got some attacking here. You got him leaning toward going there. And he has to come up and try to protect the outside to make sure if Waddle gets this ball, it cuts back. And you got him screaming over to help too. You got this dude dropping back, so he's the one that can kind of see everything. All right. Now, the key is, look at all these guys going there, going there, coming up to seal. I'm sorry, to, to set the edge, coming to help. I think he's playing one-on-one -on, -one on him. This is the sneaky guy right here. Watch. With all this other stuff going on because of the, the jet sweep and the sweep that way, the sweep this way, watch him sneak out. Nobody's guarding. That's the water effect because he got that, that pass earlier. You got two people out there trying to block him. Two people. Tight end right here. Scott free. Scott free. That's the water effect. And you don't have to you don't have to have a, have the ball in your hands to create plays for other people. That superstars do that. Superstars create plays by being um uh decoys. Decoys. And it's a good play design because they ran early. But you gotta respect water, and that lets the other guys, you know, get off, so to speak. Alright, let's go to the next play. Play five. Um I think this is him, but let me see what's going on. I think this is him. I'm going to go ahead and circle him. I think this is him right here. All right, look at this catch. He catches the ball. Five, six. It's a six-yard throw. Pretty much from the line of scrimmage, six-yard throw. Watch how he explodes. He's going to stick that foot in the ground and get straight up field. Well, that's not up field, that drawing, but straight up field. Watch. Look at that explosion. Can I think back it up? Look at that explosion. Six, he got from six yards, 10, 15, about 18 yards, just like that. And that's in slow motion. Let's see the real time. Catch. Go. That's explosion right there, man. And if he don't get that shoestring tackle, he may score. If he don't get shoestring tackle right there, he may score. Well, no, nah, it's a lot of people right there. A lot of people right there. But this but still, you get you get my drift. Just want to play six. Alright, let's see where Waddle is. I think this is him here. This one, watch the route. Watch the nuance in the route right here. This this lets me know that the, the guy has plenty route running ability that is not necessarily shown on this tape. But just watch this route. Mm. Mm. Let's break it down. That's a thing of beauty right there. Let's break it down. All right. Let's get to the circle right there. So what are you going to do first is? Give him a little, you know, level them up and, you know, got him to open his hips and I'm going to get inside you. That's the first thing. Got the release he wanted because he's running a curl. So in my opinion, you want to release inside to keep the guy, to keep the best leverage on the, the DB. So he got him, he got him opened up his hips, now he got an inside release. Now I'm gonna slow play it to make you think I'm doing something else for so you to slow down. Then I'm gonna burst to get you into full chase mode. Slow play. Now I'm burst to get you. Now you gotta run because you know I'm fast. Sink my hips 
They sink in his heels right there. Watch how many steps the DB take after he decided to turn around. One, two, three, four. Wide open. The DB couldn't stop fast enough. Simply because of that little hazy. And then when he burst out of it, he, the DB like, oh snap, I got to get deep in him. Because everybody knows he's fast. And so when he sink, sink his heels back down, DB can't stop fast enough. Wide open. Wide open. And number seven, I'm just going to call this I'm better than you. That's what number seven is. Because if he had a better throw, it would have been a touchdown. But this is simply I'm an animal at receiver, and you're not. There he is right there. Come on, out and up. I think it's out and up. Out, up. Nasty. Nasty. I'm better than you. That's what that's what he's telling him. I'm better than you. That's exactly what he's telling him. In my eyes, I think. Good throw would be a touchdown. A better throw would be a touchdown. I'm sorry. Run out. Looks back. Him looking back. So now he's looking back. When he looked back for the ball, the DB looked back. And that gave him enough. It got him enough out of his technique to where he could turn up field and already run by him. He probably could run by him anyway. But now he's just going to go straight by him. See? That little Flintstone. That li watch this little Flintstone turn. Like Flintstone had to turn their car with their feet. Watch he, watch he do that when he, he realize, oh shit. Uh, too late now. Now, if the ball is thrown way out there, this six. But it's short. So, he, you know, the DB has a chance to catch it because it's short. He slowed down to catch this. Now I'm just going to go up and get it. Because I'm better than you. Go up, high point it, and get it. And hang on to it. Because I'm better than you. That's what that is. Look, and I, and I know... Let me pause this. And I know Ruggs hadn't did a ton, a ton yet. But you're looking at four number ones that were on the same field at the same time. That's, that's unheard of. Four. Judy. Judy. I don't know if I miss, miss, miss said that the first. Judy, Waddle, Smith. Rugs and eight ain't that bad either. I don't know who eight is yet, but eight not bad either. And then you pop over to down to Baton Rouge and look at them four guys: Justin Jefferson. Um, I probably can't remember their names right now. Uh, Jamar Chase, um, the guy that they still have there too. And then you you know you throw in well they didn't have four they had three really they had three and if they had a fourth one it it slipped my mind but again not to start rambling this is uh, Coach Evans with Seven Tally Films again like comment subscribe I appreciate you guys for being here um, get your questions in for the second episode of Questions with Coach which will come next week uh, the first episode was great had about ten or so questions maybe more uh, it was a great episode I appreciate you guys for sending. The questions to the email and the email again is sip the tally at gmail.com i'll pin that in the comment sections below but um i appreciate you guys for coming through uh enjoy the rest of your day happy monday football is officially over <laughs> for now but the off season is in full swing and we out